The Stockholm School of Economics is a private business school located in Stockholm, the capital of Sweden. SSE has been creating opportunities for its graduates for over 100 years. Welcome to episode 3, Aspirations. Hi, so you might know me from behind the camera for the last two episodes. I'm Aidan, the co-producer of this uh, web series. And today I'd like to welcome you to episode three, which is Aspirations. We're going to talk to uh, alumni from our school, current students, their aspirations, what they're doing, and really find out like what people want to do in the future. Um, and how they got there. I think it's going to be really exciting. Hey. Hi. Um, Anna, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, I'm Anna. Cool. So, this is your office space. Yep. Um, I guess, and you're working with Med Universe. Exactly. So, can you maybe tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so Med Universe is a digital platform that we uh, sell to the pharmaceutical industry. Mm -hmm. Pharmaceutical industry come with uh, multiple new drugs and treatments that they need to get the information out on the markets to the doctors who are going to prescribe these drugs. Yeah. And uh, the way we've done it is that we build it through digital patient case scenarios. Yeah. So basically fictitious patient cases that the doctors can practice on. Mm. And once they do that, they uh, also leave a lot of information on how they can, how they treat them and where the biggest knowledge gaps are. So that's where they find out how to update their material. The, the pharmaceutical industry are always trying to get the right information out. And obviously that's quite important for the patients as well, so that we, if we do get sick, get the right treatment. Yeah, absolutely. That's so cool. So back in the day when you were um, still doing your courses and so on, I know you all did uh, masters. Um, what was the aspirations back then? Like, what were the kind of plans for the future and so on? Wow, yes? that's a good question. Um, actually, I thought I maybe would be working more in like, well, marketing, uh, sales, and also maybe accounting. I had many different ideas, but then internet was that was a new thing. So. Uh, when I graduated, so that was basically where I started and then after that it kind of just you know I, I went through the I don't know, I met or, or we connected again and and myself and then it just kind of you know snowballed so uh, Which is amazing in fact <laughs> I mean basically for me, it's very important to work with a with a product with a meaning I think that some a bigger meaning uh, and um, and that is basically what I'm doing today now. So I think that's that's really good. The the uh, the overall overarching objective is ultimately to improve patient outcome with the uh, the business that we have today. And I think that's uh, that's an important aspect for me. And I've tried different things out. And uh, uh, I'm not an entrepreneur, I would say, um, but uh, I've grown into it. I get used to it. And I think it's also important to to kind of I mentioned earlier that we complement each other and. Uh, sometimes I might be the one, you know, gearing a little bit and saying, okay, can we actually do this and, and you know, pick down a few ideas and, and turn that into something that could be realized uh, or realizable. So, um, um, but I think it, it's important for me to have a, like a, a vision uh, and something greater, um, greater good in a sense. Aspirations back in um, the days of school and yeah. in it's the plans. I was thinking about it when you were asking Anna and Stina as well because when I was at school, I don't think many of the company presentations, many of the presentations in general, I didn't really feel like they resonated that well with me. But then when I was in, uh, at Sasa, you call it today, right? Uh, and the East Asian Association, I met with my co-founder to the first company prior to Mid Universe, And that's when I really found, okay, this is what I, we just built this association, but then we continued out of the school and built a company. So I think that's where I found my sort of entrepreneurial drive. And I know today the school has a lot of entrepreneurship uh, courses and things, but that didn't really exist when we were there. So it's a different, different setting today. But um, yeah, I think it worked out really well. I met so many interesting people, and not to say the least my colleagues, but also other people like investors, inspiration from other companies that have done other things. So there's a, it's a great network today. 
After meeting with some past alumni and seeing how much they've achieved and how they got to their position, I thought I need to learn more about what's going on with students currently in our school. So I decided to meet up with Natalie and she took me to her headquarters to see what she's up to at the moment. Hello. So, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what you did before SSC, what you're doing now, like what's, what's going on with you? Absolutely. Um, what's up with me? Well, I actually, when I graduated high school, I thought I wanted to become a corporate lawyer. So I decided to take a gap year and I wanted to pursue that. But then I was offered to help a startup, uh, what we call now VOI. And so it's an e-scooter startup. And yeah. the plan was to stay there for a month. And I stayed a lot longer, so I've been working there for two and a half years now. Uh, so during my gap year, I helped expand the company in Europe. and. I decided to start studying at SEC because it's a great opportunity to continue with my passion for startups and business. Um, and today, now, well, we, are, we have a student consulting firm that we offer uh, SEC students as consultants to companies. And I'm doing a bit of everything, and I'm still at Boy right now. That's very cool. So you, you're doing so many different things, and like it's very, very exciting. So why don't you tell us a bit then? Like, what are your aspirations? What do you, what do you want to do in the future then? What's, what's your plan? Well, my plan, that's a difficult question. Um, mm -hmm. I get so many new ideas every day of what I want to do. So I've decided my plan is to create a life where I can do all the things I do. Uh, I want to be able to change direction. Um, so whether that means to create more time or even resources to be able to enable that. Mm -hmm. um, so my idea is after graduation, I want to work in a big corporation, possibly finance, investment banking. You know, I'm young and I want to, you know, I have the energy. But then I do really enjoy startups. So my plan is maybe to go back to startups later. And in the end, when I'm older and wise, hopefully I can go into politics. Um, so I want to do, be able to do many things. Wow, that's so cool and um, really ambitious and it's like a vibe I get from quite a few students around the school and so on. It's just so exciting to feel that energy like all the time. So it's really cool to see it firsthand from you and um, yeah, that's, that's amazing. After talking to Natalie, I was inspired and motivated. It's amazing what people can do when they're determined enough. The school has been giving determined students these opportunities for the last 100 years, within which SSC Business Lab has operated for the last 20 years. I had to know more. You know, maybe it'd be good to see what our current students are up to as well. So I decided that maybe we should go to Business Lab and meet the CEO, Julia, to find out a bit more about what's going on here. Can you maybe tell us a bit, Julia, about um, Business Lab and, and what it is? Uh, so the Business Lab is the startup incubator of SSE, and we work with helping uh, founding teams that consists of at least one uh, SSE alumni, student, or faculty um, to uh, start their businesses. And we do everything from coaching very early stage uh, ideas where there is just a team and an idea, maybe a, a pitch deck, you know, mm -hmm. um, to scaling startups that already have a prototype and a few customers and really helping them to scale up and internationalize. So what is it that you look for in, in companies that you're looking to maybe house in Business Lab? Um, we look for so many different things, but uh, of course uh, our values are passion for community, partly. So uh, you need to have a strong passion for helping others, but also, you know, being able to take on the resources that we can help you with. Uh, we work with diversity and inclusion, so really making sure that you have a diverse team and that you're always striving to, co to come in with these different perspectives into innovation because we know that research shows that this is so important to be successful uh, and also courage to be bold. So looking for companies who are willing to sort of step out of their comfort zone and, and work towards goals that seem a bit scary perhaps, but really have that um, potential of succeeding and becoming scalable businesses. Um, yeah. Cool. And uh, one last question, I guess. Uh, so what kind of programs do you offer to these new companies that you bring in? 
Uh, so we have three different programs. Uh, the first one is called Ideate, and there we help students mostly who are interested in entrepreneurship, but they're n they don't have an idea or, or team yet, maybe. Uh, we help them uh, partly just finding a team and partly uh, actually finding an idea to work with, and that's a 10-week program. And then we have Activate, which is our first venture building program. And that's only eight weeks, but we help you as a team and an idea to go from sort of that first step to creating a prototype and validating it towards the market. And once you have that validation of some sort, you know, testing it a bit, you can apply to our third program, which is called Incubate. And then you have the chance to sit with us for 18 months, actually. And we really take you from that position of just starting to get a few customers to international uh, scaling. Oh, that's insane <laughs> and very, very cool. Well, thank you so much, Julia. And um, I guess for the audience, uh, I hope this has kind of shown you uh, all the resources and network that we have in this university and how it can lead to such great things and different paths and realistically the only limitation you have when your hair is your own dreams I guess.